So I don't know if people are, uh, pay attention to Twitter. I'm on Twitter, at Sharpling, S-C-H-A-R-P-L-I-N-G. That's what I'm on at. The last week, I talked about it on the radio. I got into a, a to-do with, uh, with Gary Shandling, who is the, uh, the, the guy from Larry Sanders' show. And he, um, I asked him a question, in a nutshell, I'm not going to relive all this stuff. I asked him a question about Larry Sanders' show. And he gave me a very rude, like he went out of his way, took the scenic route to be rude. And then he kept, he like, I was trying to clarify it, because I was, you know, I did not want anything, uh, bad blood here, ill will, the guy I had, uh, whose work I admire, he kept he like doubled down every time, kept it going. And look, I come to the conclusion: the man might might have made one great TV show, but as a human walking this earth, he is a grade A wad. You are a wad, sir. Gary Shandling. Wad. So yeah, so that that all happened, and then uh, this past week, I got into a thing with uh, a Chuck Woolery. Have you seen any of this, Mike? Because this guy Chuck Woolery, for people who don't know, he was the host of uh, Love Connection, which was this immoral show. No, I'm not gonna. Take that attack. It was this. He was a host of this this game show, Love Connection. And now he's on Twitter saying like the most right wing stuff ever. So I like started uh, uh, giving him the business, and he starts giving it back. Look, I'll say this about Chuck Woolery. Here's the difference between Chuck Woolery and, and Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling is probably, uh, 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 he's like a spiritual guy, and he'll tell you all about it. Chuck Woolery is like this tea party dude. But Chuck Woolery, to his credit, he rolls with the goof goofball stuff on Twitter and, and tries to give it back in his own way. He got one good zinger in on me. I got retweeted. I'll give him points. He said uh, the WFMU had the power of a light bulb. Look, he's not, he's not wrong. <laughs> but then again, well, this, this robot has never done one thing uh, that's been remotely in the neighborhood of, 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 uh, of, of talent. All he is, he looks like somebody built a, uh, a Ronald Reagan robot and forgot to put uh, the brain in it. But look, again, he's a good sport. He's, he's fun on the thing. He's crazy. He's like a mega hawk. But it's a little bit of a life lesson. Even I disagree with Chuck Woolery. But he seems like he's uh, he's he's uh he at least uh, he at least gets something about being a human being that uh, uh Gary Shandling that eludes Gary Shandling. Am I wrong on that, Mike? Yeah, because Mike wrote, who's next, Wink Martin? Like, Wink Martindale better look out as I'm going to start attacking game show hosts. The one thing I will say about Chuck Woolery is I got this dude a few thousand followers, new followers. This guy will not say thank you for it. Not 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 uh, willing to give credit, and to take a uh, take a, 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 a catchphrase out of his playbook. You got those followers, uh, uh, Woolery. You didn't build that. How, how long are these Republicans going to hit that note that is like a 
complete misphrasing of something. Like they're just running with this thing that was just a straight up, like they're misinterpreting it and acting like they're not. Because uh, you open a business, you didn't build that. Like they're just like, they're pulling just that portion of it out of context and being like, who hates business? So yeah, look, Chuck Woolery. There's not much. Uh, it's not much firing upstairs on this guy. Guy was born with that face, and he th- he thinks he uh, he thinks he's like uh, 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 he worked for that. No, you're born. You look like a robot. Game show bot. But look. He's better than Gary Shandling. Chuck Woolery is terrifying politically, but he is not a wad. Gary Shandling, you, sir. Grade A wad. FMU, you're on the air. Hey, Tom, this is Will in Los Angeles. Will in Los Angeles. What's going on? Is this the Will that uh, I know? Uh, yes, it is. How are you tonight, young man? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Well, I have loved your back and forth with Chuck Willery. And, you know, if you told me that Chuck Willery's account was a Tea Party parody account, I would believe it because he seems that kind of unhinged. Yeah. Me and Chuck Willery. Look. This is the weirdest thing. If I had to predict a week ago, last Tuesday, if somebody would have said, you will be in a Twitter battle with Chuck Woolery, I'd be like, I don't think so. But here I am, me and Chuck Woolery, back and forth. Well, Chuck is kind of the guy who, you know, thinks that being on TV has somehow made him smart. He's kind of like... Uh, I think this was said about George Steinbrenner. He's a guy who was born on third base and thinks he hit a triple. Yeah, look, I don't know if Chuck Woolery was a rich kid or not. I don't know. But this guy, look, this guy did his military uh, service. I, I gotta, I, he gets uh, credit for that. Uh, you know, look, this guy walked the walk in many aspects of his life. But he's just a dimwit. It's just like, it just happens that he's dumb. But he's a nice yeah, but- dumb guy. I appreciate the fact that he's been sort of, you know, going back and forth, and and not just with you, but with anybody who, you know, he seems to have time on his hands. Yeah, a lot of time on his hands. I get up, I I thought I was on Twitter too much. I get up sleeping, Chuck Woolery's tweeted 80 times already. And he kind of doesn't know how it works either, which is also kind of, like, he'll retweet his own name. It's like, look, I, I can't get on this guy too much. I got my thing with him. It's fine. 